Welcome back guys. We're back at the safe again. And I well, I just put off all my plans to get this safe open. I don't care. I cannot stand it not knowing what's in this safe. Went out and bought a new bit. I had my old drill right here. I drilled four new holes in the back. I kind of drilled four random holes back here. And I'll show you here in a second. Uh, I got a pretty interesting discovery as I was just, you know, drilling the holes. Then I just, it's completely random, completely random holes. If you're just not catching up with us, uh, last episode, I bought a safe, $300, brought it home, tried to open it up, couldn't open it up, bought a drill, drilled it out, broke the drill, and now we're here. All right, in this particular hole right here, let's go in, scope it, straight on back. And we have an interesting discovery all right, so it's gonna be kind of hard to see on this camera screen right here because I'm kind of doing like a camera on camera action. But let me zoom out a little bit here and zoom back in. This is the locking mechanism. This is straight behind uh, this hole. Look at this nut. This one little tiny nut is holding back the whole locking mechanism right here. See how it's like locked, interlocked dovetail right there? So, that's straight back to this hole right here. Knowing that, I can probably get to the nut on there. I got some extensions right here. These are quarter inch extensions. My problem is I think they're, maybe the heads are too big for my drill bit I got. And unfortunately the drill, I don't have any more bigger drill bits. Um, my second drill has almost died. All the brushes almost have wore out on that one too. So. Let's see if I can get this actually through the hole real quick. So I'll show you guys what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to go through this hole right here that I drilled with three of these extensions. This is gonna be kind of dumb, I know, but get through there. I think it's dead onto the bolts. I don't know how I got that lucky, but and then go through the, go through the safe and then unscrew that bolt and then the locking me mechanism should, you know, basically should come off. I got a half inch extension on a half inch ratchet. We'll see if this will pop the bike safety open. Oh. oh my gosh, it cracked. It cracked. Uh oh. Woo, puppy. It's not on there very hard. I feel like I'm stripping it right now, so oh, it's a bad thing. Let me take a look at my camera. Uh-oh. It's getting there. This is a good sign. The nut's off right there. See it? All right, I want to show this to you guys real quick. There was where the nut was. You see the plate around it. This thing is very jostly. I'm very sorry. But uh, you see the plate that locks it right there. And the nut was actually held in by what seems to be, hold on, a square 
uh, looking uh, bolt. So the square bolt is still stuck in there holding it. So maybe I can get in there and hit it around with a hammer, an extension or something. So let's see. Went to this door handle right here. And uh, uh, I gotta get the plate off now. If I can hit the plate off there. It's still locking, but the plate sets up right here. So now I get the plate off there somehow with a long something. Okay guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. I finally got it by busting, I got that uh, nut off the very end right here like you guys saw. And then all of us, I just took a big log pry bar and then locked it the rest of the way. So whew, I'm so excited. Let's see, let's see, oh, oh no. Oh, ooh. Look at this. So, <laughs> you see where the locking mechanism was there and after I took off the bolt to this thing, and here's the uh, the lock. So I didn't destroy it at all. I just basically disassembled it from the inside and that fell down. There's the nut right there. And I was able to take this uh, improvised golf club and unlock it. So we got in finally. And it's kind of a riddle because you kind of see where I had all my drills and everything. Let's check out these little, I think it's completely empty, unfortunately. And there's a book in here though. So I'm going to check out what this book is though. That's interesting enough for me. And it's a drawer full of old nuts. And that's about. Oh my gosh, look at this book. So the only thing in here I saw so far is this little book right here. And I think it's a little kid's textbook, unfortunately. So, I mean, there's nothing else in there. No secret writings of the Masons or nothing. Man, I had a feeling this would be empty after the last time I probed it. But look at the intricacy of this freaking vault, guys. Look how they're, they're layered like this. And they fit in. Just like that. This is insane. So I think all the nuts and stuff are missing right here for some reason. I not see anything else. Unfortunately, it kind of sucks. These look like they had keys to them. Yeah, it's empty, guys. That sucks. Really sucks. It's one of the... I'm not going to try to, you know, push some stuff in here to make it look like a cool safe. I'm not about that life. So you guys saw the real, real life treasure hunting and the real the the realness behind it how it could be completely empty but cool part is that my actually my neighbor wanted this wanted this safe like this so i might be able to sell it back to him for 300 if i can patch those holes and stuff like that so dang it sucks but it's, it's what it is door is freaking heavy it's super heavy and then now i'm gonna have to maybe take off this See if I can get this off and find out the combination. And uh, there should be a few screws around here I can take off to find the combination of this thing. So, coolness. All right, guys. So I'll just kind of look at the safe, looking at it, and there's a little, a bunch of little hidey holes in here. To be honest, like I didn't search at all. I just kind of took one glance at it, but can't see it very well. But hold on, let me turn my, let me turn my uh, flash on. Look what's up here. Look in this little cubby hole. It was completely dark, you saw, right? So. I did not see this earlier. Oh man. Looks like some, um, some dog tags. United States Marine Corps dog tags. That's really interesting. There's something else up there too. Ooh, what the heck is this thing? Some kind of pocket watch. What do you think, guys? What's the name on here? 
I don't know what the name is on this thing, but if you know in the comments, let me know what this is down there. This is interesting to find. It's not working, but I wonder if it's actually gold or something like that. Wow. I just noticed this stuff over here. While I, was, uh, I took the uh, I took the lock apart right here. You see the lock right here? So now you can kind of get an idea of what... Oh no, I just dropped a, I just dropped a piece. But you can kind of you can kind of get a general idea of what the lock is by spinning these right here and and lining them up. So if you line that up right there. Now I definitely don't know what I'm doing, but you can line all these up and get a general idea of what the lock is. And I dropped the little screw that went through right here. This goes in on this side of the door. Hey Fiend. What's up, crazy eyes? To uh, basically move this really intricate piece back and forth to lock and unlock it. Now, these pieces right here are almost $200 or $300 online. So it's not a completely, completely wasted time of getting uh, doing this all, all this, all this work. So it, it could be worth it. We'll see. You're really interested in that case, aren't you? Uh-oh, here comes trouble number two. All right, guys, say bye. Say bye. All right, guys, thanks for watching. It's, I guess I found something. I found something. I didn't find nothing. So thanks for watching, guys. This was really interesting for me to do. I really like just doing new things all the time. I don't like doing the same thing over and over again. So buying a safe like this was not definitely my plans. But it's cool to see how it worked and how cool this safe actually is. And I think I have some plans for it in the future. If my neighbor doesn't buy it, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But uh, I think it might make it to something cool. We'll, we'll find out. See you guys. Thanks for watching.